at first it was fun. We were having a blast. And then just little things started happening. I remember one time we are in Tupelo, Mississippi. It was sold out, and we never sold out Tupelo, Mississippi. And the main event was Sting and Randy Savage against Tall Nash, the Outsiders. Well, back in the day, everybody carried their music on cassette tape. So, uh, and I don't know that I've ever told this story, actually. So, um, uh, I was in charge of setting up the music, and the guy, usually the guy was at ringside, so I had some control, but this guy was in a booth way up there. So, their tape was not a, usually the tapes were one-off tapes where the, it was just that one song that the company would give me, that the theme song they did. Well, they found some cool song that they thought sounded cool. It was like a, a rap, kind of bluesy song, and... But it was on in the middle of like a full cassette tape. So it was like, okay, you, you remember cassette tapes, right? A lot of people watching this could be like, what well, cassette tape? So it was like side A, cut three. So I prepared it, side A, cut three. And I told the guy, play side, when I point to you, play side A, cut three. Well, you put in side B. So the wrong music is playing. So I'm trying to get on the headset and a microphone and a... Uh, a, 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 a a walkie talkie to fix it. Well, by then, he, he, if you remember the way cassette tapes go, by then he had changed the spot because he put in the wrong side. This <laughs> went on, and this was a house show. This went on for like 20, 30 minutes. I'm not kidding you, trying to get their song. And I guess I wasn't there, but I guess at one point, Sting said to those guys, dude, just go out. It was How long? Nash. Yeah, just go out. How long are we going to wait? And they said, but we need our music. And Sting said, it's only Tupelo, Mississippi. Well, Hall and Ash went back to Eric and said, this is the reason why you guys have done so poorly because you don't value, you think it's only Tupelo. Sting didn't mean it like that. But Eric gave a whole big uh, meeting to everybody the next, this was on a Saturday, that Monday at Night Show, that I don't care if it's a show before a thousand people, 10,000 people, live TV, if it was a house show, whatever, we're going to put on the greatest show we could, and I never want to hear it's only Tupelo again. They, I, I, I think at that point, Hall and Nash had seen uh, the successes that Vince had, was try, were trying to show the guys in WCW, that there were things that they were doing that could be improved. But I think at that point that it might have, you know, you had the mainstays in WCW, the Lugers and the Stings, and then you had the new guys coming in that are, that are and I think it might have started. It wasn't any big fight. Every, every, everybody laughs about it now. It's only Tupelo. It's something that everybody laughs about around the bar. If Sting and Hall and Ash or whoever are around. But at the time, I think some feelings were hurt, and that could have started a lot of it.